What do you do if ICE agents knock on your door? Can law enforcement search through your phone? And what rights do you have if you're arrested at a protest? These are the basics of the Know Your Rights training that ACLU has been offering for years. Vicky Gorbecker is the director of the ACLU Regional Centre for Border Rights in Las Cruces, New Mexico. She says demand for the training sessions increased dramatically after Donald Trump was inaugurated. We would generally give maybe three, four a month uh, in the past, but in this administration we're, we're doing it at least, we're providing Know Your Rights training at least once a day, um, if not more, sometimes two or three times a day to different communities and different groups around Doñana County, um, throughout southern New Mexico and in West Texas to basically remind people what their rights are because there is a lot of fear in the community right now. About 50 people attended a Know Your Rights training session at New Mexico State University, many of them immigrants, but most were just citizens interested in their legal rights during traffic stops and at political demonstrations. Any officer, any law enforcement officer, they have the right to remain silent. They have the right from being um, you know, unduly searched or uh, the, for any of their things to be unduly seized. And these are actual basic constitutional rights um, that will protect them. They have the right to uh, contact an attorney. They have uh, all, a whole series of things that are available to them to protect themselves and ensure a better outcome when they, infor when they encounter a law enforcement official. And that's just as much true for anyone, regardless of their immigration status. So that's one piece of the information. Permanent resident Fahimi Fudazi was at the training. She and her husband moved to the US from Iran nine years ago after friends told them how well Muslims were treated here. She says she hasn't felt like that since the Trump administration pushed for a ban on travel by those eight Muslim majority countries, including Iran, or whenever she's been stopped by law enforcement. I, I shake. I don't know, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to ask me. And, you always don't know what's your right exactly. So, and then, especially you know, now you feel more insecure. Fudazi says she doesn't know what rights she and her husband have as permanent residents. Gorbeka says that's what often makes people vulnerable. She says ICE officers were said to have taken advantage of that during recent ICE raids in Las Cruces neighborhoods. The very first step, and it doesn't matter who the law enforcement agency is, is that um, you don't need to open the door. Gorbecker points to interior checkpoints as a good example of how law enforcement overreach plays out when individuals aren't sure about their rights. Constitutionally, law enforcement can't stop and question you without reasonable suspicion you have committed a crime. Here's an example of an individual knowing his right at an interior border checkpoint. I'm not answering questions today. OK. Um, we have to be fully satisfied that you're a U.S. citizen. You have reasonable articulable suspicion we've committed a crime. No, sir, but you must answer my question. No, I don't. Are you a United States citizen? I don't have citizen? to answer any of your questions without my sir, attorney listen. present. Thank you. Send you on your way, and thank you for being an outstanding citizen. So apparently all you have to do is be a belligerent jackass <laughs> and you're determined to be a citizen. Fudazi says an interaction like that might be easy for some U.S. citizens, but not for immigrants, as long as ICE and Border Patrol can deny those with legal status entry into the country. This country is talking about the freedom, they're talking about liberty, but they are not acting in the same way. They have a bias. Gorbeka says the ACLU is working on programs to broaden and fortify constitutional protections to all, especially people of different religious groups, people of colour and immigrants. And with the ACLU achieving record fundraising following President Trump's election, more funds are available to fight what may be a long and expensive battle. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.